So I'm going to be uploading videos on my Sid Jackson channel for a while. For those of you who are watching this on my James Jackson channel, I will link it in the comments, the annotations at the beginning, and in the description. For those of you on my Sid Jackson channel, I want you to listen carefully to two clips. One is, and I have tons of them, you know, you should all check out my James Jackson channel. There's a lot better videos on my James Jackson channel than on my Sid Jackson channel. On my Sid Jackson channel, there's a lot of older videos where I'm drugged up, I kind of let my hair grow out. I stopped caring about myself. And I pretty much still don't really care about myself, but back then I really didn't care. Um, I made a lot of these types of shirts, you know, I'm Heru, the top martial artist, and you're a bunch of bitches that are covertly drugging me. On my Robot channel, I have the video where I beat the, the last challenger 10 0. Um, and so he listened to these clips. So, did that atheist guy really tell you to provoke me to go to the psych ward? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so I've definitively proven that they are covertly drugging me. I have over 30 interviews, interviews with over 30 people on my interview list. And then I have interviews from older channels as well. Check out that list on my James Jackson channel. It's essential. I have debates with a Satanist and an, an atheistic Satanist and another debate with an atheist. I've definitively proven that they're spiritual bottom feeders, Satanists, um, uh, the worst criminals, LGBT, feminists, atheists, and racists in that order of the order of you know the harm they cause to society. And I talk about the institutions that are doing this as well the military, law enforcement, secret societies, uh, intelligence agencies, and so on and so forth. Uh, university educations, some stores that are covertly drugging me. This is why a lot of my older combos on my Sid Jackson channel, which they will almost certainly try to use, you know, take out of context and say, this this guy thinks he's the best, and look at this martial art combo. They won't show you the one, you know, the first martial art combo I posted on my Sid Jackson channel. Uh, from 2016 for instance they're probably going to cite the older ones they're going to cite videos where i look crazy you know when i when i'm passed away um they won't ever want to admit this that they've been covertly drugging me and i'm still the top martial artist i'm an undefeated martial artist since 1997 that's where when this trophy was from um you know the older picture of me a pretty good picture of me down there you know i want to have you and this this is you know Showing somebody putting drugs into a glass, and this is somebody showing gas. Let me play this. Unfortunately, my mom's back in right now, but I have a lot of interviews that verify that yes, they're doing this to me. And her and her family started being gang stalked after she helped me with my interviews. Okay, so she wasn't a targeted individual before. She helps me with my interviews. Things start happening. I have interviews with her and her daughter. You know, here's. here's the So she basically tells the story of what happened, and this all happened after. Oh, well, she stopped vacuuming now. If I can elaborate a little bit more, it all happened after she started helping me with my interviews. Okay, so the audacity of these people knows no bounds, you know. And am I am I supposed to be magnanimous, you know? Um, in other words, um, forgiving. Am I supposed to be, you know, accepting of what they're doing? You know, am I supposed to show, um, you know, forgiveness? You know, these people, they've done so many horrible things to me, and I've definitively proven that. So when you look at my older videos, you have to understand that they're kind of a misportrayal of me. 
and you'll see some on the Sid Jackson channel, some older videos where I'm not so drugged up, up you know, uh, seeming, and some where I really focus, you know, and so it's, it gets a little bit confusing at times because I have a video where, you know, I come out the psych ward and I'm wearing that blue and white shirt and I, I'm, I'm off drugs just long enough to speak coherently and concisely about what happened to me to get me into the psych ward. And then I have other videos where I'm on psych meds and I have videos where I'm covertly drugged. So it's hard to tell what's going on in these videos. And sometimes I'm kind of confused and I have to look at other videos around it to kind of remember whether I was covertly drugged whether it was psych meds, you know, they had me that way. And to further complicate the situation, I smoked marijuana, you know, up until, um, I believe, September of 2000, I want to say 2014. I think I quit marijuana, you know, around September 2014. So, in September this year, it'll be two years ago, you know. But, um, yeah, so, you know, in a lot in some of those videos those older videos i'm high on marijuana not all of them on the sid jackson channel i believe i believe some of those were around the time right right before i quit or you know right after something like that or, you know anyway just you know i thought i would lay that down for you um yes you, you people have missed a lot of stuff and let me just play one more clip for you people um I don't, i'm not sure if i played this in the uh other ones. I have clips of the female who's with me who notices. Oh, let me just reference that clip real quick. I have two clips I'm going to play for you and I'm going to wrap it up. I don't want to make this the whole 15 minutes to try to keep it under 10 minutes if we can. Um, oh, first, let me, let me play the oh, three clips. Okay, we'll start here. Antidepressants are killing people. A recent report claims the drug kills an estimated half a million Americans and Europeans annually. Efficiency trials funded by pharmacy companies are biased, it shows. This yeah, I think you surprised. All right, so I have four questions for you real fast. You know, how, how long have you known me, would you say? Uh, 14 years. All right, um, do you think that I need psychiatric medication or psychiatric help? She says, no, we've been friends for 14 years, in case you didn't hear that. So let me um, go to the last one. Okay, this is the same person. Um, the first time we went out in, you know, quite some time, because I, I've had a lot going on. We've been talking on the phone for a long time. We've been friends for 14 years, but anyway. What happens in, in this picture is called proof of gang stalker with witness and, and mil, mil, with witnesses military and intelligence agency pictures so it's her and oh, the female that i was with i noticed the gang stalkers as well uh, a, a gang stalkers well government gang stalker and you know i brought it up when i saw i said is that the guy who's talking to you inside before she said anything about it you know being strange or anything like that and she was like yeah i said look at his license but it's a government's license watch Place, right? Yeah, he's like, oh my god, I almost fell for it. Let's see, what do you say? So I took the gang stalking. Oh my gosh, no, but you don't understand though. He like went out of his way trying to talk to us. All right, so you see the whole video of that. And I have videos with my mother coughing, showing that they're gassing me. I have videos with a female on the phone saying, yes, I could tell that you were struggling, breathing, and so on. I have tons of videos that corroborate my story and my claims. So what I'm doing, I'm not just insinuating this is going on. I'm not just theorizing or suggesting or guessing. I have definitively and decisively proven that they are covertly drugging me and that it is related to my very first May 2012 top martial artist challenge and the fact that I was training martial arts before that and I was making videos since 2009 and the drugging and the watching is consistent. You know, there comes a point where they say this guy is a threat because we can't beat him, we can't control him, so then they start the drugging. But at first it was the stalking, and then it was lightweight drugging, and then when I start doing the martial arts challenges, you know, they, after they knew that I was doing martial arts, they started the drugging. When they saw that I was making martial arts challenges, they stepped up the drugging. Thank you.